Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 women fast bowlers of all time. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Cricket is a popular sport in a number of countries around the world. Bowling, the motion of driving the ball towards the wicket as the batter tries to defend it, is one of the most important aspects of this sport. There are some good bowlers in women's cricket as well. Whatever their speed or style, these bowlers have contributed to making women's cricket a worthwhile spectator sport. Take a look at the top 10 most successful female fast bowlers of all time. Number 10. Marazan Cap. Cap is a South African international cricketer who represents the national women's squad. In a women's 2020 international match, she became the first South African cricketer to score a hat trick. She was selected one of the players in the ICC Women's ODI Team of the Year in December 2017. Cricket South Africa gave her a national contract in March 2018, making her one of 14 players to receive one for the 2018-19 season. During the series against the West Indies in September 2018, she claimed her 100th wicket in Wodies. She was picked to South Africa's squad for the ICC Women's World 2020 event in the West Indies in October 2018. With 98 runs in four matches, she was South Africa's leading run scorer in the competition. She was appointed to the Sydney Sixers squad for the 2018-19 Women's Big Bash League season in November 2018. Kep became the third South African cricketer to play in 100 Wodi matches in the first Wodi against Pakistan in May 2019. She was picked to the M. van der Merve 11 squad for the inaugural Women's T20 Super League in South Africa in September 2019. She was picked to South Africa's squad for the 2020 ICC Women's T20 World Cup in Australia in January 2020. Cap was appointed to South Africa's 24-woman team on July 23, 2020, and will begin training in Pretoria ahead of their journey to England. For the debut season of the 100, she was drafted by the Oval Invincibles in 2021. She was picked to South Africa's team for the 2022 Women's Cricket World Cup in New Zealand in February 2022. Cap recorded her maiden five-wicket haul in Wodi Cricket on March 14, 2022, in a World Cup match between South Africa and England. Number 9. Megan Shute Megan is an Australian cricketer who has been a medium-fast bowler for the national side since 2012. In Australia, she has played for the South Australian Scorpions since 2009 and the Adelaide Strikers since 2015. She became the first Australian cricketer to score a hat-trick in a women's 2020 international. WD20I, match. Shoot, a right arm fast medium bowler, made her international debut against New Zealand, when she bowled poorly, surrendering 33 runs in 5 overs. In her second encounter, she took two wickets against the same opposition. And Aspenkris Info's analysis of women's cricket in 2012 rated her as a player to watch in the next year. She was included to Australia's squad for the 2013 Women's Cricket World Cup which is Pinkers Info's Jenny Roseler speculated was owing to the shortage of bowlers in the country. Schutt played in all seven of Australia's World Cup matches, taking 15 wickets at an economy rate of 4.13. She had at least one wicket in every game, and her 15 were the most of any bowler in the competition. Her remarkable rise from club cricket to becoming the leading bowler in the World Cup was described as meteoric by the Daily Telegraph, but Schutt stated that the humidity in India aided her swing bowling. Schutt bowled for Australia in the World Cup final against the West Indies, which her team won by 114 runs, she took two wickets for a total of 38 runs conceded. Her finest bowling performance for Australia came in a World Cup group match against New Zealand, when she took three wickets for 40 runs. She was appointed to Australia's touring party for the 2015 Women's Ashes in England in June 2015. She was selected one of the players in the ICC Women's T20I Team of the Year in December 2017. Number 8. Lee Tahuhu Lee Tahuhu of New Zealand is the fastest bowler in women's cricket, with a delivery speed of 126 kmph. She is a right-handed fast bowler. She's taken 48 wickets in ODIs and 27 wickets in T20s. In November 2018, she was named to the Melbourne Renegades team for the 2018-19 Women's Big Bash League season. Number 7. Jahanar Alam Alam was a member of the team that won a silver medal in cricket against the China Public Ladies Cricket Team at the 2010 Asian Games in Guangzhou, China. Alam made her ODI debut against Ireland's women's cricket team on November 26, 2011. Alam made her T20I debut against India's women's cricket squad on August 28, 2012. In June 2018, 
She was a major player of Bangladesh's side that won their first Women's Asia Cup title, winning the 2018 Women's 2020 Asia Cup. Number 6. Claire Taylor Claire Taylor is one of the most gifted athletes in the world. She was a member of both a cricket and a football team. She played in both the football and cricket World Cups, which is incredible. Claire worked on both of her jobs at the same time. In 1988, she made her debut. In 16 test matches, Claire took 25 wickets. She has a 40.44 average on tests. She appeared in the finals of both the Women's National League Cup and the Cricket World Cup in 1993. She was defeated in the football finals, but she won the Cricket World Cup. Similarly, she got 102 wickets in ODIs at an average of 23.95. Claire also had a domestic career in which she took 294 wickets. Number 5. Aisha Gua Cricket is a popular sport in England. As a result, it was only natural for England to develop the greatest female bowler of all time. From 2001 through 2011, Aisha Gua, a child of immigrant parents, played in England. She was a medium-paced right-arm bowler. She appeared in 137 tests and 94 one-day internationals during her career. Aisha has one of the top test bowling averages. She has an astounding average of 18.93 despite only playing 8 tests. In ODIs, she also took 101 wickets in 83 games. Number 4. Elise Perry Elise Perry would be a good fit for the most complete cricketer. With 297 wickets and 238 international appearances across all forms and an average of less than 25 in three versions of cricket, he deserves to be on this list. She is not only one of the best female bowlers of all time, but also one of the best female cricketers ever. She made her ODI and Test debuts against New Zealand and England, respectively, in 2007 and 2008. She has received numerous awards for her bowling and batting achievements in the World Cups. Number 3. Jenny Gunn Former right-arm medium fast bowler for England. In her career, Gunn has taken 223 wickets in 245 international matches across all forms, with an average of under 28. She was also a part of England's World Cup winning campaign in 2017. In 2018, she became the first cricketer in either the male or female categories to appear in 100 T20 LS matches. She declared her retirement from all kinds of cricket in the year 2019. Number 2. Chulan Goswami If there was a better female fast bowler than Catherine Fitzpatrick, who worried batsmen with her pace, swing, and bounce, it was none other than Chulan Goswami, a former member of India's national squad. With 225 wickets, she is the biggest wicket-taker in ODI cricket history, the most by any woman so far in history. In 2002, she made her ODI debut against England, followed by her test debut against the same opponents the following year. Goswami, together with Mithali Raj, helped Team India win their maiden test series against England in the 2006-07 season. She received the Arjuna Award in 2010 and the Padama Shiri Award in 2012. Goswami has 321 international wickets in 260 matches, with an average of less than 22 across all formats. She is ranked second among the best female bowlers of all time. Number 1. Catherine Fitzpatrick Catherine, a former Australia fast bowler, is without a doubt the best fast female bowler in cricket history. She was the first female fast bowler in white ball cricket to take 100 wickets, ODI. In 1991, she made her test debut against India, and in 1993, she made her ODI debut against the West Indies. Catherine was a key member of Australia's two winning World Cup campaigns, in 1997 and 2005. At the age of 37, she holds the record for the oldest woman to collect a five-wicket haul in white ball cricket. In 2006, she played her final test match, followed by her final ODI match in the following year. Catherine declared her retirement from all forms of cricket in March 2007. Catherine has 240 wickets in 122 international appearances, with an average of under 20 in test and ODI cricket. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.